What's going on growers? It's James Pigioni coming to you live from Jersey. This year, me and Tuck have 10 x our cucumber yield. So today, we want to share with you seven tips for getting massive cucumber harvests and extending your season. Let's go! The first step to get massive cucumber harvest is to protect your young plants from the dreaded cucumber beetles. In order to get good harvest from our plants, we need to make sure we have healthy plants. And if you allow the cucumber beetles to attack your plants when they're young, they could decimate and destroy your plants. To avoid this, what I like to do is cover my young plants with an insect netting. And then once I see flowers starting to form on my young plants, I'll remove that insect netting so that the bees can come in and pollinate my plants. Another way that I like to avoid the cucumber beetle when they're young, especially in an area that I can't put an insect netting on, is I like to use the surround kaolin clay. This stuff is amazing because it's a protectant. It forms a beautiful layer on top of the cucumber plants. And what it does is it makes it so the cucumber beetles don't really go after the plant. It discourages them. Because if the cucumber beetles do go after that plant, the clay gums up some of the antenna on the cucumber beetle. And makes it hard to navigate. The clay is also said to mask the cucumber plant from the cucumber beetle. So the beetles actually have a tough time identifying that it is a cucumber plant. One of the best ways to avoid the cucumber beetle is to plant varieties that the cucumber beetles are less attracted to. So burpless non-bitter varieties like the suyo long here have low levels of cucurbitacin which is the chemical compound found in cucumbers that make it bitter. This chemical compound is also what attracts the cucumber beetles. So, if you want to avoid them, make sure you plant some varieties like this that are burpless. If cucumber beetles have invaded your garden, your last line of defense is to either pick the beetles off yourself or to use some sprays. If you want to use sprays, I'll suggest a few. The first choice is to go with neem oil. This isn't always effective against the cucumber beetles though, so if this doesn't work that well, you could try spinosad. Spinosad is moderately effective against them, but not always effective. If this doesn't work either, then you can go with the pyrethrin. The only thing about the pyrethrin is that this will also negatively affect your beneficial insects too. So I like to use this as kind of like a last ditch effort if the cucumber beetles are just ravaging my cucumber plants. Before we move to the next tip, me and Tuck want to mention to grab some of the kneelers down at jamesprigioni.com while they're still here. This is a limited time thing. So if you want to save your knees and your back in the garden, grab a fresh kneeler. And I'm just going to give Tuck some water because it's getting super hot out here. You can probably see how hot it is by how much I'm sweating. It's just a super humid day and super hot out, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't keep me and Tuck inside. We need to be out here getting some garden work done, making some videos because there's nothing better to do in life. The second tip to getting massive cucumber harvest is to continually pick your cucumbers off the vine. This might be the most important tip when it comes to getting bigger harvest because if you allow one cucumber to finish on the vine, then the whole plant will quit producing. So the main goal of the cucumbers are to actually create offspring for next year. So to finish the seed. If you allow one of these cucumbers to finish when they're still on the vine, then the whole cucumber plant, it will quit producing because the plant will focus on ripening the seed instead of making more fruit. But if you were continually out here picking a bunch of these cucumbers off, then you'll basically trick the plant into continuing to flower. If you do that, the plant will flower and produce fruit up until the first frost. So if you want more cucumbers, make sure you keep picking them. The third tip to get massive cucumber harvests is to stay on top of watering. Cucumbers are 95% water. So in order to get good harvests, you have to keep the soil adequately moist. If you allow the soil to dry out too much, the cucumbers will grow misshaped and they will be too bitter. So in order to keep up with the large harvests, you gotta stay on top of keeping these plants hydrated. The fourth tip for massive cucumber harvest is when you're watering to make sure you never get the leaves wet. Damp leaves are just a breeding ground for all kinds of diseases. So make sure when you're watering, you're watering at the base, just like I am here. And if you do get some of the leaves wet, make sure you're not brushing up against the leaves and then knocking into other plants. Because when you do this, it's just a really easy way to spread disease from one plant over to the next one. The fifth tip for getting massive cucumber harvests is when you're growing vining varieties of cucumbers to grow them up a trellis like you see over here. When you grow cu cucumbers up a trellis, there's so much more airflow because the breeze can move through the plants that are trellised up. If you allow the plants to sprawl along the ground, like I have some plants here, then there's much less airflow. Also, if you allow the plants to sprawl on the ground, it opens up the opportunity for some soil-borne organisms to creep up into your plants. So, up a trellis is the best, but if you do allow your plants to sprawl like you see right here, make sure you have like a thick wood chip mulch down. This way you have a barrier between your plants and the actual soil. 
So you can allow some of your plants to sprawl, like I'm doing here. Just make sure you do have some wood chips down. Another added benefit to growing cucumbers up a trellis is it makes it much easier to find them and to harvest them. So when you could find the cucumbers easier, you have a less likely chance of having cucumbers that actually over ripen on the vine and force your vine to quit producing. The sixth tip for getting massive cucumber harvest is to always have another round of cucumbers going to replace your ones that are already growing. So if you have some cucumber plants growing like I showed you and maybe they get a disease issue or a pest issue or maybe you allow one of the plants to have a cucumber over ripen on it and the whole vine quits producing. It's always good to have some replacements or some younger cucumber plants on deck. This way if they either finish or they slow down you always have another Another round of cucumbers coming which means another round of harvests. The seventh tip for getting massive cucumber harvest is to make sure you always have a thick mulch down. This may seem obvious but it's very important because a lot of the issues that come with growing cucumbers can be traced back to either uneven watering or not enough watering. For instance if your cucumber plants do not have enough water then the cucumbers will become bitter and more bitter cucumbers are what actually attract the cucumber beetle. Also if you allow your plants your cucumbers to over ripen, then the more ripe the cucumbers are, the more bitter they are, and then the more they bring in those cucumber beetles. So when it comes to gardening, everything is connected to everything else. Before I let you go, I want to leave you with a bonus tip. And the bonus tip is in the spring, do not transplant out your cucumbers too early. This is the biggest mistake that new gardeners make. I know it's exciting in the spring when your cucumber plants are relatively small, you wanna get them transplanted out like as soon as possible. But you need to make sure that the weather has warmed before you do that. You wanna wait at least three to four weeks after your last expected frost date to transplant your cucumbers out. If you do it earlier than that, you just might end up having to plant a whole nother round of cucumbers. That's today's video, growers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. Me and Tuck wanted to make this video because this year we have just harvested so many cucumbers and they're still coming in heavy. We applied a lot of the tips that I just shared with you and it's made all the difference when it comes to a harvest. So what we're doing is sharing the things that have worked for us so you guys can apply them into your garden and hopefully get some of the same results. Tuck was just a beast out here with us. You could see how bad I was sweating for how hot it actually is. And just, we can't even keep up with the level of cucumbers that we have, me and the boss. So I'm either gonna attack in some footage here of me and Tuck harvesting a bunch of the cucumbers or throughout the video, I'll just, you know, sporadically put in some of the harvest because uh, there's just a lot of harvesting and nothing makes me and Tuck smile more than be able to grow some of our own food in our backyard and to get huge harvest from it. Before I let you go, I want to mention to grab some of the kneelers at jamesprigioni.com. Me and Tuck have went through so many different kinds of kneelers to find this one. One that we think is quality. We love the feel of it. We love how light it is, the size of it. And it's just a overall great thing to have into the garden to save your knees. We also want to thank one of our new channel members, The Robin's Nest. Thanks for being a part of Team Grow. Thanks for contributing. Thanks for having your hand in you know, everything we do in this backyard and having your hand in the production of these videos because you're part of the team, just like me and Tuck are part of the team. So we'll give you one quick shot of the boss before we head out. He's just chilling, trying to stay cool in the weather, drinking a lot of his water. So we just want to remind you guys to stay hydrated out there, to have a blast. And even if things aren't going well, to try to learn from your mistakes because every mistake brings with it like a lesson that you could get something from. So there's nothing ever in the garden that's bad. It's only just about the perspective. James and Tuck will be back to you again real soon. We out.